so the first part of question number four asks you to prove the identity 1 over sin x minus 1 over tangent x to the whole square equal to 1 minus cos x over 1 plus cos x and the question brings you four marks okay so we need to use the formula of tangent to remove it and tangent formula is sin over cos okay if you don't remember these kind of formulas you can refer to mf9 which you're going to get in a levels and there are the formulas for trigonometry and all stuff okay so let's just substitute this value into the given equation and we get cos x over sin x to the whole squared okay now we need to take the LCM of these two and we get 1 minus cos x to the whole squared the next step we need to apply the squared into the equation and we get 1 minus cos x square upon sin squared x okay and now we need to use some formula of sin square x to remove it in terms of cos and there we have a formula over here and that tells that 1 minus cos square theta can be sine square theta okay so we need to use this up in the equation over here and we have got the cos square x minus 1 okay so 1 minus cos square x we have got and 1 can be written as squared next thing we can have cos x square over a square minus b square its formula can be this I'm just writing the, by the formula x and when we divide these equations we can cancel out this one and we are left with this two things 1 minus cos x over 1 plus cos x and this is what we had to show in our question now the second part of fourth question is hence solve the equation 1 over sin x minus 1 over tangent x to the whole squared is equal to 2 over 5 for which x is between 0 to 2 pi okay so to solve this we will use some part of our last previous question which says this thing okay we are going to equate this thing right equal to this and we get 1 minus cos x over 1 plus cos x equal to 2 over 5 all right now we are going to make cross multiplication and we have 5 minus 5 cos x equal to 2 plus 2 cos x now by rearranging we sort of get 3 and 7 cos x so 3 over 7 is equal to cos x and cos inverse of 3 over 7 brings us okay so we can use our calculator in this so make sure that you do not keep your calculator in degree because over here we are talked about 2 pi so we will keep in radian so bring your calculator into radians okay now you can just solve this up in the calculator and you get x equal to 1.127 okay so this is lying between this and now for the second value for other value we are going to subtract and add okay so but if we add this up in 2 pi okay so it's probably not going to work and it's going to exceed 2 pi range so we are going to subtract this 2 pi minus 1.127 just giving in the calculator we get I'm sorry I get 2 pi minus 1.127 right. yeah so we get x equal to 5.156 and this is how we are solved 